Hey guys, it's me. So today I thought that I would uh, bring back some of the 2011s-ness. I am going to show you guys how to put feather hair extensions in your hair because when these first came out, I was a tad bit obsessed. I used to buy them in bulk off of Etsy and sell them to all of my friends and put them in their hair for them. And so I just thought that I would show you guys how to put some feather hair extensions in because I really wanted to put some back in my hair and that is the whole story. So we are going to put some feather hair extensions in today. To start off, you're going to need some feather hair extensions. Like I said, I get mine off of Etsy. You're going to need some needle nose pliers and you are going to need some beads to hold your feathers. And these I also got off of Etsy and um, I prefer silicone lined, which as you can see, they have that little bit of silicone in there because they're softer on the hair and they don't pull it out as much. You can get non-silicone, but I really don't, I don't recommend it. What are you doing? Caught red handed. So I recommend getting a- <laughs> Baby! Oh, I hate you. Stop laughing. Do I recommend getting some beads that match your hair color or something close to it. So I'm going to use a dark brown bead. And then I'm just going to pick a section of my hair that I want the hair feather to go. I don't recommend putting this right on, like right here on your hair. I recommend going a couple layers under because that way your bead won't show and you don't want your bead to show because that looks just not not good so I don't have a threader because I lost it so we're gonna do this without a threader because it can be done without a threader and that's way more fun eh. so then you were just going to pick a little you know part of the feathers that you're going to want to put. I've got some black grizzly, some white grizzly, and then some brown and black ones. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bitty, bitty, bitty section of hair, but not too small to where it's, the bead's just gonna fall out because there's not enough hair. You're gonna want a pretty decent section of hair. So about that much, if you guys can see, you're gonna want probably the width of one hair feather. So then what you're going to do is be really disgusting and lick your finger and you can do this with water also, but I don't have water over here and it's my own spit in my own hair. So if you find that gross, look away. But basically you're going to spin, spin your hair so that it is as thin as possible so that you can get it through this little tiny bead. Then you are just going to thread your hair. There's no way for me to show you this up close really. So you're just gonna thread your hair through the bead. And if some of your hair doesn't go through, that's, that's perfectly fine. You don't really need all of it to go through. Just, just a vast majority. So then you're just going to pull it up and this is really a lot easier with an actual mirror, but I'm just using the viewfinder. So yeah. So then you have your hair bead threaded into your hair and you are going to take all of your little feathers and make sure that they are all, all of the tips of them are aligned because if they're not, then they're gonna feel really weird. So make sure all of your tips of your hair feathers are aligned perfectly. And when you stick these in, <laughs> that's what she said, it may be kind of hard to get them in perfectly. So I'm going to try to do this in the viewfinder as best as I can. I really probably should have brought a mirror over here. So I set up this little mirror down here. So sorry that I'm not as close up. And if you need to clip your hair out of the way, feel free to do that also. Okay. So once you have all of your feathers threaded into the bead like so, you are just going to take your needle nose pliers and you're gonna wanna put this about a centimeter away from your actual scalp. And also you're gonna wanna 
keep it flat against your head because if you hold it out like this, then you're gonna have a bump in your hair. So then all you have to do is use your needle nose pliers, clamp your bead down, and you've got feather hair extensions, yay! So then you just are gonna wanna pull on them, make sure that they're secure because if they're not, you're gonna wanna clamp your bead a little bit tighter. So yeah, then we're just taking my clip down, put my hair down, then you have yourself feather hair extensions. But yeah, so that is, um, that is pretty much it in terms of care. These can be washed, blow dried, straightened, curled, all that jazz. They're pretty much just like normal hair. Their last ability all depends on how you take care of them. So if you are really rough on them and straighten them a lot or if you pull on them if you treat them badly they're not going to last very long but if you treat them really well i've had them last up to i mean three four months in my hair if you're dyeing your hair make sure that you take them out because they may not get the full amount of dye but they will soak up some of the dyes they are very porous just like hair and if you put them in after you've freshly dyed your hair and you wash them, then they could bleed. Some of the color may bleed onto the feathers. So be wary of that. I honestly would just, if you're dyeing your hair, wait till you've washed it three or four times and then put the feathers in because that's going to be your best option. You're going to want to move your bead up about every three to four weeks depending on how fast your hair grows and that's only because the bead is going to get really really low and that could be hard to handle because you definitely do not want to brush over this because it's gonna hurt oh my god i remember when i first got these put in and i forgot about it and i just brushed and i, I pr i'm pretty sure i just like ripped like a small bald spot into my head <laughs> So yeah, definitely don't brush over them. Make sure you change your bead or move your bead up every three to four weeks. And to do that, you can still reuse the same bead if you're careful, but basically all you have to do is clamp your bead the opposite direction slightly, shift the bead up, clamp back down again. So it's really, really simple. I absolutely love these hair feathers. Like I said, I used to be totally obsessed with them and I used to have like, I mean, my whole head was pretty much covered in them. And I do have quite a few more, so I'm probably going to put a couple more in. But yeah, that is my tutorial on how to put in feather hair extensions. And I know that it was not very formal, but that's because I am not a formal person. And I hope that you understand that. <laughs> so if you like this video, be sure to show some love to Espy's like button down there. And if you subscribe, you can be one of my gypsies and every single one of you counts. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!